Good morning. So we have done in our course book the chapter A Dog Loves Cakes. Okay. And today we are going to do the workbook exercise. Fine. This workbook you are having. So we are going to do the workbook exercise of chapter number 4, A Dog Loves Cakes, which is on page number 28. Okay. Now the first exercise here includes singular and plural. Singular means one and plural means more than one. So here there is a table in which at some points, at some places, singular is written and at some places plural is written. Accordingly, we have to fill up the blanks. Okay. Same Pushpanjali ma'am has done on the board also. A radio, many radios. Fine. So we are going to write R-A-D-I-O-S. Fine. Okay. One peach. A dozen peaches. So peaches will be because it is ending with ch. So we'll be, we'll be adding es to it. Okay. Many elephants. Now here elephants. It's plural. Now what will be the singular? Elephant. Okay. And because it is beginning with a vowel sound. What will come? An elephant. Okay. Children, I'll be sending you the answer key of the same. Okay. A potato, a sack of potatoes. Fine. A sack of potatoes. ES will be added in the end. Many ladies. Single will be a lady. Why have we added a here? Because it is beginning with a consonant sound. Okay. A few children. Now children, it's Plural. What will be the singular of children? A child. Again, why a is added? Because it is beginning with a consonant sound. A calf, two calves. Fine. A men, nine men. Earlier also I told you the correct pronunciation of M-E-N is men. Okay. Now we have completed exercise A. We will be moving to exercise B. Fine? Okay. Now in B exercise, it is look at each picture and write the correct form of the word given in the brackets. If it is plural, we have to convert the word that is given in the bracket. We have to convert it into plural. Fine? And then we are going to fill it up, uh, fill it up in the blank. Fine? Now the first is do you like my new? Now in bracket it is written shoe. And it shows a pair. A pair is there. So we are going to write shoes. Do you like my new shoes? Yes. You are going to write it down like this. Now the dash are ready for eating. Now here in the picture more than one mangoes. It's plural. So we are going to write mangoes. Okay, now the third part. My dash are very naughty. In the bracket it is written puppy and in the picture you can see that two puppies are there. So we are going to convert puppy into plural and it will be written as puppies. Now, the teacher is playing with the dash and in the bracket the word is given child. More than one child is there. So we are going to write children. What is in those dash box? Now here we can see in the picture that there are there is more than one box. So it will be converted to plural and we are going to write it like this. B-O-X-E-S. Okay. Now. Hide behind the dash. The word is bush. And in the picture it can be seen that it is more than one bush. So we are going to convert it into its plural form. And because it is ending with sh. So we are going to write es. Okay. Now. The wind is blowing the dash leaf. Now here we can see that many leaves are in the air. So we are going to convert leaf into plural and it will be written like this. L-E-A-V-E-S. Fine. 
this is how we are going to convert exercise uh, do exercise b now we'll be moving to exercise okay so now moving to the c exercise it says match the following and make sentences we know the matching like two columns are given the correct uh, two parts we are going to match and make the sentence and write it in the blanks which is given below now mr jones lives now which is the correct second part in a cottage so we are going to write at number 1 here mr jones lives in a cottage yes we read it uh, we read this sentence in the chapter fine now the second line is every morning he goes where does he go where does he used to go every morning to the coffee shop so we are going to write at number 2 every morning he goes to the coffee shop children remember one thing i'll be providing you the answer key of the same exercises okay his dog toffy sits now where toffy used to sit under his chair so make the sentence you're going to match the two options okay and write down in the third one his dog toffy sits under his chair okay now the fourth part it says he puts the coin where he used to put the coin on the counter okay so write it down here he puts the coin on the counter fine now the last one we need to do the last one is toffy carried the newspaper where he used to carry the newspaper in his mouth so the last one we are going to say toffy carries the newspaper in his mouth okay toffy carries the newspaper in his mouth so in this manner you are going to cover the exercise a b c nicely in your workbook do the work in a very beautiful handwriting okay we'll meet in our next video till then bye bye take care